chosen ones where you are chosen ones you've already won all right and i'm going to break it down in this video okay i'm going to make it really really quick this video is gonna be a very short video okay but powerful all right great um so let's go um chosen ones you have already won okay if you think positive as a chosen one during negative times during hard times during tough time during difficult times challenging times you've already won it all right that's it if as a result of your poverty in poverty in misery you keep thinking of abundance you keep thinking of riches you keep thinking of opulence you keep thinking of affluence you've already won all right bible says let the poor say i am blessed okay so faith counts in the little things okay faith counts you know what is faith it is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen so let's say your situation is a negative situation that is you are poor okay um you don't have the money yet you have the mindset of abundance you see in abundance you feel abundance you think abundance you believe abundance then abundance will surely manifest in your life because where attention goes there energy flows too right energy flows where attention goes so whatever you give energy to that thing is going to do what is going to expand so in a negative situation in the midst of your poverty all right in the midst of you not having money you thinking of money you thinking abundance surely abundance is gonna be your bet right that is it if you are sick okay in the midst of your sickness you don't look at your sickness but you seeing yourself being healed right and you telling yourself you are healed you will surely be healed so will it be in your life as a chosen one right so you've won if you keep thinking positive in life because when you think positive you're going to attract positive things into your life we are as a result of what we think about what do you contemplate on what do you put your energy to what do you give your time and attention to what do you focus on focus on positivity and when you focus on positivity you attract positivity in your life if you are weak and you keep telling yourself you are strong so will it be all right whatever situation that you are in and you keep thinking positive that this too shall pass so will it be all right this thing shall pass nothing lasts forever even though you're going through some difficult times you're telling yourself my best is yet to come so will it be so why not think positive and attract positive but you focusing on your negativity you know one of the deceptive plans tricks of the enemy of your soul to keep you in captivity in hostage in bondage is to inflict you with pain and the moment you start to think of your pain of your misery of your sickness the more you giving energy to such things so the more sick the more weak the more misery the more poor you are going to be but when you are faced with this situation and you say no my mind is stronger and the more i think positive 
the more my mind becomes powerful and develop an electromagnet that attracts the things that I think of to me. And you start thinking positive, you begin to manifest positivity into your life. Because thoughts become things. I repeat, thoughts become things. And as a chosen one, you are the master of your thoughts. So you got to take control over what you think about and always try to contemplate on positive things instead of negative things. And when you do this, you make this a lifestyle. Changes are beginning in your life. I'm telling you, there was a time in my life I told myself no. Even if there, I'm surrounded by negativity, I am going to think positive. So in every situation that I find myself, I try to inspire myself. I try to motivate myself. I try to look at something good. I say, okay, in this world, there are no accidents. So whatever is happening, God has a plan, you know, and everything is happening according to divine order. And I begin to trust the process. I said, even though on the outside, it looks like it is hard, I know it is for a reason because there is an opportunity in disguise. Always blessings are presented to us in disguise. All right? And good, bad, who knows? Okay, so the law of serendipity is always working for us. If you keep thinking positive, you will see the law of synchronicity, the law of serendipity, all these things will be working for you, right? They are working, right? But because you focusing on the negative aspect of things, you won't see such things. The moment you begin to rewire, reprogram your mind to see positivity in every situation, you will see that your life will begin changing completely. Even your dreams will begin changing. I, I, I have been through that and I've learned, I've experienced it and I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm telling you as a chosen one, right? Holding on to positive thoughts is going to change your life no matter what, all right? So thinking positive in a negative situation makes you a winner. So always think positive and you will overcome whatever circumstance, whatever challenge that you are going through. No matter what is happening on the outside. If you see, if you keep on looking at the things on the outside, you let such things detect your direction you will never be happy because on the outside it is the devil that is controlling the things on the outside the things in that is happening around you and you will never be happy when you always want the things on the outside to make you happy your happiness um comes from within so when you look within and you open your eyes of faith and you understand that whatever happens happens for good, happens for a reason, all right? And whatever situation, God is still saying something, right? And whatever hap is going to happen or has happened, has ever happened before. So there is nothing you cannot overcome because if it has happened before and people overcame, then you yourself, you can overcome too. The moment you begin thinking this way, whatever situation, whatever circumstance, that comes your way as a chosen one. You will emerge as a victor. You have already won. And people who think like this for themselves, the devil is afraid of such people because such people are not easily influenced by the happenings around. All right? But what happens to most people? The moment something begins to, hey, this thing, hey, this thing, hey, this thing, this sickness, uh, that is what has killed my mother. That is what has killed my father. That is what has killed my sister. Hey, it will kill me. So will it be. It will kill you for sure. But if you rebuke it and you tell yourself, you are chosen, 
You are different. No weapon form against you shall prosper. You break it in the name of Jesus. And whatever your belief is in, you believe that it will not work against you. That is how it's going to be in your life. All right? So learn to think positive instead of thinking negative. And that makes you a powerful person. That makes you an overcomer. That makes you a winner. That makes you a conqueror. Right? Remember, you are here to conquer. You are not here to bow to the circumstances around. So whatever challenge, whatever situation that comes your way, tell yourself, all things are working together for your good. I'm telling you. Okay? And count it all joy. Whatever situation that you face, it is for a reason. All right? The moment you start thinking that way, nothing scares you anymore. You will not be afraid of anything. And you will see, when you are not afraid, you will be content. You will have this peace. You will, be, you will feel serene. And such mindset attracts positive things. And you begin to think positive. You see, you begin to receive ideas on how to change your life. That is how it is, chosen ones. That is it. All right? Great. So that is the secret. You have already won. When you believe this and you start seeing yourself that way, so will it be in your life forever and ever. I'm telling you. Right? That is the secret. I'm out.